Question 21. The pie chart shows the results of a school's netball and football matches. Netball's on the left, football's on the right, and we've got one lost and drawn. The netball team played 30 games, the football team played 24 games. Estimate the percentage of games that the netball team lost. So in the first question, we're only interested in the netball pie chart. And we're talking about lost. Now there's a couple of ways you could have done this. The first way is to draw a section around the lost section. And then think, well, how many times does this section roughly fit in the whole pie chart? Well, we could do this same section again over here. And then we could do the same section again here. So lost, and that's three sections. So lost is roughly a third. Remember, it is only an estimate. So we don't have to be exact. It doesn't matter if it's not exactly a third, but it is roughly a third. Now, the whole pie chart is 100% because we're talking about percentage. So the question is, what is a third of 100%? And if you split 100 into three pieces, the question is, what do you get? Well, 100 is not easy to split into three pieces, but 99 is. So if you split 99 into three pieces, you would get 33% in each piece. And that extra 1%, if you split 1 into 3, you get 0.3 recurring. So actually, and you put a dot over 3 to show it recurs. So actually, a third of 100% is 33.3 recurring percent. And that would be a good estimate, 33.3 recurring percent. However, if you didn't put 33.3, it still doesn't mean you're going to get this question wrong because it does say estimate. So another way you could have thought about the same question is this. You could have said that if you look at lost, if you turn that into a quarter, a quarter would have to be 25%. And you can see it, it is a bit more than 25%. If you split this quarter here in half again, well, a quarter split in half, 25% split in half is 12.5%. So this here would have to be 12.5%. If you put the two together, 25 plus 12 is 37, so that would be 37.5%. Now you can see that it's got to be less than 37.5% because the lost section that's in dark grey is less than those two bits together. So it's got to be less than 37.5%. So you could another good estimate would be 35%. In truth, what they're probably going to allow in this question is any answer probably between 30% to 37%. If you put any number between those two, you're likely to get the answer right. If we scroll down for the second part of the question, it says, David says the two teams won the same number of games. Is he correct? Circle yes or no. Well, if you look at the pie chart, just get rid of this working here. If you look at the pie chart, the netball one is exactly a half. Football is exactly a half. So at first sight, it looks as though they've won the same amount. But actually, you've got to think about the total amount of games that they played. Because for netball, they played 30 games. So they won a half of 30 games. Half of 30 is 15. So netball won 15 games. The football team won a half of 24. And a half of 24 is 12 games. So actually, they may have won the same percentage of games, but that does not mean they won the same number of games because netball won 15 and football won 12. So all you need to do is write this down here. So netball one half of 30 is 15 games and football one half of 
24, which is 12 games? So the answer is no, he is not correct because they won different amounts of games. 